The Nightmare Before Christmas may seem like an odd movie to pick to, as an example of Christ to a non-believer, but when you look at it and you actually take an exam and dissect it, you can see a lot of hidden parts of Christ embedded within it. There's a lot of actual theological and interesting ways to get into discussions with non-believers, as the following. Have you ever noticed how in The Nightmare Before Christmas, the main message of the movie is failure? Jack failed in his mission to bring Christmas to Halloween Town. Now, this coincides with the main moral of the story. Try, do not try to be something you are not. And Jack ended up trying to be Santa Claus when he wasn't. This proved this showed to be a problem when he couldn't act as Santa Claus and gave the kids gifts that scared them instead of gifts that made them full of joy and warmth like is supposed to happen during Christmas. This is actually a quite perfect illustration of what people try to do when they don't seek after God. Jack was shot down by the military because of being a really bad Santa, which I think is quite funny, but is obviously it's obviously what happens when we try to be something we aren't. God. We place ourselves in the placement of God and we get shot down, not literally, but figuratively in the soul. We have to be who we are and not be God, because if we try to be God, we're gonna fail. We're not God, and that's the issue. Jack failed because he's not Santa. He doesn't have those emotions, he doesn't have same thing. He finds value and beauty in things that are scary and ugly, and Santa doesn't. And that will be great for Halloween, but that's not great when it comes to Christmas. Just like people have wonderful attributes, but God has all the attributes and can save us. Another point of illustration, though, is how Santa saved them in the end. Santa very much plays a Christ-like role within the movie. While I don't really think this was an intentional homage, I think it's a homage nonetheless to Jesus in the movie. Jack had massive failure. Lucy told him so. I mean, Sally told him so, not Lucy. Sally told him so, but he didn't listen. He continued in his ways and was stubborn and stuck and tried to do it, and he failed. But then Santa came along and fixed it in the end after Jack saved him. Just like Jesus will save us and fix the mistakes we make and be God because he is God. He saves us, and in the end we even get a reward. Heaven. Just like they, how members of Halloween Town got a reward in the end. Listen no. See, Santa was truly able to bring the joy of Hall joy to Halloween Town that exists in Christmas Town. Jack had good motives in trying to do so, but he did it the wrong way. He was trying to play God instead of letting, or he was trying to play Santa instead of letting Santa do it. Just like we tried to try to play God instead of, you know, letting God do it. And that's actually what sin is entirely about: trying to find the right things and the things we should want in the wrong places. It's missing the mark. And that's what Jesus came to save us from. And that's how the that's how the Nightmare Before Christmas illustrates Christ. Maybe not intentionally by Tim Burton, but it still illustrates it nonetheless.